Boo, divine feminines. Time for a read for you. Yes. We get to see what's going on with you guys for a week or so. I'm probably going to believe the wandering masculine though, because like they could take a week off. And they didn't need more time to concentrate than anything. Seems like a lot of them are coming out of the woodwork with like this sense or desire of some sort of destruction that I've been picking up this past couple weeks. Like at one point, like before, it was like between the tenth, the ninth, and the ninth or the tenth to like the thirteenth or some shit. But it was like someone was watching. Hmm. Tower moment. Divine feminines. I think it was orchestrated though. People are guides working all together with this tower moment, right? This was masculine, feminine, feminine, you haven't hit reality yet. Or some tower moment hasn't hit you yet. Or you haven't encountered it. Uh, we got the moon right here. Cancer or Pisces card and the thoughts and feelings. Someone feels like their emotions are getting played with. That's not good. Queen of Cups. Cancer or Pisces, Scorpio, once again. Well, Cancer and Pisces, Scorpio just got here, but still, you know. But yeah, she's like, um, she's offering a cup, but like, you know, it might be laced with poison. Be careful if she's too nice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You're about to wreck some shit. Gotcha. Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands. Yeah, like the truth's too much of a burden to carry. When it comes to all the trauma and shit. Alright, let's see. What's your vibration, dears? Lack of victory or there's an enemy in your house somewhere. Divine Feminines, you might feel like you're being... You got some people coming against you. As per usual. It's business. Mm, two seconds. I'm gonna give me a pitcher of water. Or a drink of water. My bad. I don't like this because this I feel like leads to this because of the emotional strings attached, right? There's something with that divine feminine that like you're thinking of and there's something up with it and you know there's something up with it. Like you can feel there's something there, like bait or some shit. All right, let's see about this tower moment, y'all. This tower moment is like someone fucked themselves up and are finally seeing it. Something to do with the eclipse, either the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse, but someone realized they did some shit to themselves. Took their own armor off and stabbed it in the ground. Um, they delivered an R. Kelly package, which is not a good package. Not a good package at all. That was a weird ass song. It was like a 15 minute song just to talk about like people getting STDs. In case you didn't know about that R. Kelly song. And this person now talks to a buffalo while all their stuff is um, rotting away. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo if you're dealing with that person. Divine Feminines. Mm. This king might have his back to her because he feels like he's owed something. It could be the masculine, but I don't think so. This is like somebody else. Like somebody should be authority figure, but it's like, I don't know, it's almost like... It's almost like surrendering and having to approach this guy with a shitty package. Like you might have to deliver some bad news or some shit to somebody, Divine Feminine. And it's gonna hurt, but it's like, you know what, I don't, I'm not a fighter anymore. You know, I put I, I put all my all those I bought all those swords just to stab thy armor, 
into the ground. It's like that realization that, you know, it's time to end this shit. And you're the one who put the end to it, so you're probably delivering some bad news to somebody. You know, with this three of pentacles right here, where these three people are working on something together, boom, the moon reverse. Like, so it could be your guides, like, working on something in the background to make it revealed with the moon. Could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces once again. Um, might have something to do with, like, what's in the background or how someone sees tradition. Having to go back and relearn, I think. Need to be a student again. Might have to learn how to stand up for yourself. Or someone feels like they have to stand up for themselves. Could be Leo. Also could be Capricorn since the devil's in there. Like someone's got to stand up to the devil, divine feminine. Hmm. Hmm. It's like an illusion, like, came back. Like, your guides helped you, you know, figure out what was really going on with someone's, like, belief system and shit, and it kind of helped you stand up to them a little bit, too. Or it's helping you to stand up for yourself in some sort of occasion, where it feels like you're facing shit. The moon right here, once again, Pisces, Cancer. Also, we got the Queen of Cups in here, which is also Pisces and Cancer, including Scorpio as well. It's like, the string's attached, you know? And someone is trying to seduce somebody out of their guard with emotions. Um, probably trying to make them a bit illogical. Even though this person's wise, they're trying possibly to trip you up, Divine Feminine. They might be a smarter person. Or an older person. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this person might be doing it just cause. Like, just cause. Just cause, you know, they've lost their minds in this connection. Could be your... Hmm. That could be karmic, actually. Like, there's some sort of separation here and someone lost their fucking mind from it. It's like, hmm. I don't know. I mean, if she contact, if she or he contacts you, <laughs> be careful with this uh, Queen of Cups right here. That could be poison. That could, she just might be trying to kill you. Just letting you know. Speaking of which, what's she doing? She's got a bird in it. It feels like it's taking forever to get it off her back. Like, she wanted to emulate you, but that's a statue of you erected after you've completed the task. Uh, she's definitely losing patience and losing her, um, zen. Like, she breathes deep, and then she smacks the dude in the face, and then she breathes deep in order to calm herself from having to do it again. Like, whoa, like, if, okay, there was a show back in the day called Flavor of Love, and there was this one chick named Safari, and I love that name. And she beat this chick's ass for some reason. I can't remember either because she grabbed some flowers or got on a bed or something. I don't know. But after she beat this chick's ass, she started praying in front of this chick like, Lord, please help me so I don't beat this bitch's ass again. And then the one chick was like, do you really have to do that? And she's sitting there crying. And the chick was like, Lord, please keep me from beating this girl's ass again for interrupting my prayers. It was just like one of those things where it's just like, you know, this person is just... You give them a reason and they'll go with it. Like, no self-control. Impulsive based on, like, her attitude, really. Like, whoever this person is is just, you know... Like, whatever they're dealing with is, like, heavy and it's definitely affecting their mood. So you might be dealing with somebody who wants to trip you up because they got problems. Uh, divine feminines, right? Yeah, this person's hung up on their image, too, with the uh, hangman reverse. They want to look good as a martyr. Like, sure, the blood's rushing to their head, but hey, I look pretty swanky in this position. No one can hold it as good as me, right? So, yeah, this person's just... That looks so uncomfortable with his hip twisted like that, too. Like, how? But yeah, um, this person is, like, kind of hung up on being a martyr, almost. And I feel like they try to, like... I feel like they try to give you the cup to try to get in to be the enemy, Divine Feminine. It's 
And it's based, but it's like a facade. It's like, sure, they're coming up to do that shit, but it's like, whatever. You know? It's some really, like, kind of... I don't know, it's like she kind of wants to insult you a little bit, because that'll make her feel better. You know, definitely wants to have people come against you. For whatever reason. Like, very, very bitch mode lady. Alright, this Ace of Swords, the truth, right? The clarity one needs to wield. There's a heartbreaking situation in here. Someone's heart's broken. Someone's really sad. Someone feels like people are coming against them for that shit, too. Oh, Lord. I, th I, I think someone feels like you, they don't, that you don't like them very much, Divine Feminine. And that's like... Got them in their feels. It's just like... Ugh. Like, I like this. This is like a new adventure. Yeah, they're willing to burn everything. And pretend to be asleep. Like, not even like they are asleep. They'll pretend. And, like, this is the type of person who will kill themselves and set it up to make it look like you did it just to get back at you. Crazy tasty shit, right? Hey, baby. Well, that just walked in. Okay, so, ten of wands. Hmm. Too much of a burden to carry, like, over here, right? Sexy. You're sexy. Like, really, really heavy. Like, it's already heavy over here. It's just the beginning for this person you're dealing with. DFs. This person is trying to carry all of this because they do want a victory here. And I think it's the victory against you over here by being the enemy in your house. Divine feminine slave. Um, but they're gonna face a really harsh judgment for it. Like, if they do get a victory, that that's gonna be the cause. It's the judgment against them. And hmm, takes the sword to Saturn side. Um, It's like they want to turn their back on it after... It's like, um... It's like... They... Hmm. They... All they got is petty shit to say about it when that happens. It's like, that's the wrong judgment, and that's all they can talk about, but it's never around you. It's always like going elsewhere to do it. It's like, that's nice. Kind of dickish, but that's nice. Whatever. That was sarcasm, just in case, you know, I didn't make that clear. Alright, six of cups here. Possibly past issues. Someone doing some sneaky, underhanded such stuff. Getting away, or trying to get away with murder, if you will. Um, they're probably having to go really deep inside, or you're going to have to, Divine Feminine. Especially dealing with this whole, like, dealing with the devil shit. Um, but whoever this is you're dealing with, Divine Feminine, who's like... Like, you're dealing with somebody a little bit who, um has an issue with you where it's just like you're not it's like you're not interested in these bitches like none of them they're all too like hasty to be chatty and shit you'd rather not like they're really annoying and you're just like you know let me just put these swords in my armor and walk off like it's kind of a discovery with the uh solar eclipse that just came up Hmm. So let us see. What else can we get for you? King of Cups. Lovers reverse. Oh, okay. Hello, dude. Yeah, it could be karmic involved. 
six of swords. What the hell? Uh, five of wands here. Eight of cups and ten of wands. Hmm. Okay, well, so let's ignore the fact that this might be divine masculine for a minute, right? Whoever it is you're dealing with is like... Very... What's that word? I don't want to say facetious, because I don't think that's the right word, but I can't think of what I'm actually thinking of, so we'll go with it, right? Selfish. Stuck in their own feels. Um, belittling. Doesn't really give a shit to connect with you, but will always make it look like they want a reason to stick around. But that's just to fight and walk away again, and that shit's just way too irritating for you. So you're probably gonna have to cut them out, you know? Like, or else it's gonna turn you into a zombie. To the day you die, you know? So. But, that's your read for the week, Divine Feminines. Thanks for watching the video. If you want a personal, it's in the description box below. Just look there for instructions or whatever. Um, like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure, of course. And I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.